Reverend Al, uh, Gene Robinson, brings up a great point. I mean, there, 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 by all indications, there appears to be uh, more than probable cause to charge mm -hmm. these four officers. More. And, and, and if this county prosecutor has any mitigating evidence at all, he must. It is critical that he gets it out this morning. But of course, Gene, uh, that is a, a stretch to say the least. We've seen the video. We've now seen it yeah. from two different angles. There, <laughs> there, there. I, I do not. I find it hard to believe there is any mitigating evidence here. But Gene, you're a Pulitzer Prize winner. Uh, you, uh, you write for one of the most uh, esteemed newspapers in the world. You have worked all over the world, including running the London Bureau. Um, you are, uh, well, we'll just say you are uh, uh, a, a, uh, the top, top tier of polite society uh, in American culture in 2020. And yet, I still remember a conversation you and I had when this happened before. Maybe it was Trayvon. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was Eric Gardner. Mm -hmm. I don't remember when. But you told me about the pain that you felt that even you, in your exalted state, because you're a black man, had to sit down and have the talk with your black sons. And you had to mm -hmm. sit there and say, sons, listen, when you get pulled over by a police officer, I know it's not fair, but this is what you have to do. It's a, I, I, I can't imagine how heartbreaking that was for you to have to have that conversation, but that is a reality we are still in in 2020. And you and I both know if this prosecutor in Minnesota had a video of a black man with his knee on the throat of a white man for nine minutes killing him yeah. while three other black men looked on, yeah. they'd all be in jail this morning. They'd be, they'd be under the jail, Joe. <laughs> they'd be, uh, yeah, you know, they would they'd be under be, the uh, jail. On their way to, they'd be on their way to a very speedy trial and conviction. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, we have had this conversation too many times, you and I, um, and uh, it's it, 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 you get I get sick of it. Um, I, I was so angry. I've been so angry this week uh, at, at at what happened uh, to George Floyd, uh, at what happened to Ahmaud Arbery, at, at what keeps happening uh, in the society. It's you know, there's a black men walk around with with a bullseye. Um, on their chest and back, and 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 that's just the reality. It's um, you know what makes it so um, worse, frankly, because it's not like this just started happening. But now we there's always video, and we have video from several angles of of this this murder, and I'll call it a I'll call it a murder. It's certainly, a, you know, it's a technically murder. a homicide, but I, but I will I will call it a murder. It takes place. We see it taking place, and when you see that happening, and then you don't see the kind of of, of action, swift and um, and and just action from a prosecutor that obviously must take place. Uh, you don't have probable cause there. You don't have reason to make it. I mean, it's just it's just. It's it's obscene, and and you know I I will join uh, Reverend Sharpton uh, and everyone else. Of course, we uh, you know condemn um, uh, rioting and looting and whatever you know wherever it came from because there are always these days there are always provocateurs and there are always the anarchists and there are always you know and remember these started as pre peaceful protests but also remember that dr king did say you know a riot riot is, is the language of the unheard the voiceless and um and i don't i don't know how you can you can watch that video without without feeling anger i can't Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.